How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobile Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to back up your Mac. This is the official Apple method and of course it's completely free. It's super simple, just a few steps, so let's get started. Okay guys, so all you have to do really is open up your system settings and then tap on general and then scroll down until you find Time Machine. You have probably seen Time Machine before, right? This is the native built-in feature made by Apple just for this, to fully back up your Mac. And when I say fully backup, I do mean it. With Time Machine, we're gonna create a complete backup of your machine. So all your photos, videos, files, uh, your apps, absolutely everything, all of the data inside all of your apps and even your wallpaper. So we're gonna create a full complete backup. So then later on, if you wanna recover that backup, you're gonna have access to everything that's on your Mac. You won't lose a single data file, all right? Okay, so let's start with the process itself. And the thing about Time Machine is you will need an external storage. That's the only way to use Time Machine. So you can use a hard drive like I'm using, you can use an SSD, a USB drive, anything, but you will need an external device like this. You can't just go ahead and back up all your files using Time Machine to iCloud. You will need to use an external device. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in right here as you can see, and then I'm gonna leave my hard drive right here as you can see as well. Now, there's one very important recommendation, an Apple recommendation, which is that you use a hard drive that has at least double the storage of your Mac. So for example, if your Mac has 512 gigabytes of storage, you use at least a one terabyte hard drive, okay? I'm using a two terabyte hard drive, so I'm good to go right here. The next step is to simply go ahead and tap here on add backup disk. And as you can see, as I plugged in, I can already see my hard drive right here on the desktop, so that's perfect. Now let's go ahead and click on add backup disk, and then it's gonna find it, Seagate, that's the one, as I said, two terabytes available, great. Let's go ahead and set up disk. And as you can see right here, it's gonna ask for information. And before I move on, I also have to tell you that Apple recommends that you don't have anything on the disk apart from your backup. So if you're doing this, the idea is that you have a dedicated hard drive just for Time Machine, just for your backup, okay? So make sure to have it cleaned, as you can see right there, wipe it out, don't have anything on your hard drive, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and encrypt backup by default. It's gonna uh, enable this feature to encrypt and I do recommend that you do that because all your information is gonna be here. Uh, and then it's gonna ask you to create a password. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a very hard one. Of course, I don't recommend that you do that. Okay, let's re-enter. Uh, this is just for this video, all right? Go ahead and choose a difficult one. Same goes with your hint. Go ahead and choose a hint. I'm gonna go and go for numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and tap on done. And as you can see, it's confirming what I've mentioned before. So do you wanna erase and Seagate, which is the name of my hard drive, so it can be used for Time Machine? So as you can see, it will erase your data, it will erase your files if you have anything here, because the idea is that your hard drive is dedicated just for the backup, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase Seagate. Now, keep in mind that if you wanna do this, you're gonna lose everything that's right here inside your hard drive. So before doing this, make sure to save any of your files that you have on your hard drive, otherwise you lose them. This is very, very important, okay? And then, as you can see right here, my disk, my backup disk has been created. So I have here, it changed the color. As you can see, it's not yellow anymore. Now is this greenish color, meaning that it is a backup disk. So it's perfect. I have here, it's waiting to backup. And as you can see, after a few seconds, your backup will start automatically. And it's gonna start just like that. And then all you have to do is wait. It generally takes like a minute and then it will begin. 
Naturally, the, the speed of the backup will depend a lot on, on the amount of files you have on your Mac. And of course, on the speed, the transfer speed of your device. If it's an SSD, it's gonna be faster than it's HD, of course, okay? Since this is an HD, it's gonna take a while, but we are pretty much done, guys. All you have to do now is wait. Wait until that's done, wait until the backup has finished, and then you will have a proper backup on your Mac. Now, one final tip that I wanna give you is if you go ahead and click here on options, as you can see, you can set up something that's very important, which is the backup frequency. So by default, it'll be automatically every hour, but I don't think you need that often. So I generally leave it as every day or every week. It'll depend a lot on how sensitive your files are. So the way this is gonna work is if you leave it for automatically every day, for example, and then if you leave it as backup on battery power, as it is by default, all you need really is to have your Mac open in use, as you can see, plugged in to the hard drive, and then it'll automatically back up in the background, you won't even tell. If you wanna do it just when it's connected to power, you can disable this option, and then only when your Mac is actually connected to the power charging, and of course, connected to the HD or the SSD, and then it'll do it automatically every day. But naturally, it has to be connected to the hard drive, otherwise, there's nothing to back up to, okay? So that's literally it. That's how you actually fully, completely, and correctly back up your Mac completely free the native Apple way. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.